Make sure we're live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is May 26 and we're doing uh, another comic book reading day two of two of uh, this set of live streams so we've got two comic book readings uh, that we set up for this live stream and this is the we started off I believe with a comic book reading and we're ending it with a comic book reading so fantastic and we've got two books left from the five that we picked from the previous selection and one of these babies we're gonna read <laughs> right I think I personally think if I was a betting person I think this is might be the one that we're gonna read but it's gonna be a close call it's gonna be a close call one of them is from 2020 um, I walk with monsters number one this is a new series um, that was put out by uh, by vault comics check it out this company here and they're putting out some kick-ass comics like really one of the one of the if you're following independent comics you should be checking out vault comics right if you're following comics you should be checking out vault comics and the other one is impact uh, from EC Comics from 1955 right fantastic well we'll give a little intro to these uh, once people start rolling in um, while we wait for notifications to go out just to make sure we're still live streaming bum, 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 bum. Uh, we'll see how long it takes for the notifications to go out. sometimes it takes a few minutes I'm just gonna give everybody my a little intro to what this is all about who we are and what it is that we are doing which is a lot of different things I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho if you want to follow this work if you want to know what this work is about and if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so I also do have a subscribe start page as well uh, we don't have any followers there yet uh, but slowly I think we have to sort of part of our decentralization get that going as well so the links for those will be in the description of this video once it's been loaded up to all four video sharing platforms that we're uh, uploading to and for those of you who are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this you know that i know that everybody knows that so again if you enjoy this content if you want to support this work independent creators and it's pretty important to uh, start thinking about that if you're consuming a lot of independent uh, sources of news information and entertainment uh, because the technocrats do not want independent creators to flourish and we sort of have to do our best to make sure they're not successful at their at them preventing us from sharing information and doing uh, authentic work right without having any other agenda than sharing what we love um, independent right meaning that no one's paying us to do this uh, we're doing it from the love we're not here representing corporation we're representing human beings right we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat participate in these uh votes polls that we do where we pick our pick our comic books to read or where we talk about mathematics current events politics whatever it is uh 12 hours later chicho appears <laughs> hey elder god how are you doing <laughs> twitch is where you want to be at and gang thank you very much for the support on twitch thank you for the follows thank you for the subs and mods as always thank you for taking care of business we do announce these live streams x how are you doing 30 minutes before we go live on mind vk gab and parlor whenever it's working okay it's having serious hiccups the technocrats and the governments and centralized power did not like parlor being around so they did everything they could last year to try to take it out of the game uh parlor's come back but it's having some hiccups so we'll see how it plays out uh lucky for us there's a lot of decentralized uh, uh disruptive innovation new tech coming online to challenge the status quo uh, and we're gonna hop on those 
uh, as fast as we can Felix how are you doing hey Chicho I want to be here too too long as I'm studying for a biology exam but I want to drop by and say hi ah, salutations Felix thank you for dropping by go study for your biology man important okay get the marks you need if you're going to school um, because that's gonna reduce pressure on you it's gonna give you a little buffer it's like having a savings right if you're riding high then you can play around a little bit if you're having a down week down month down day if your mark drops a little bit you're still in the clear right so studying making sure you're excelling um, doing well in school or anything else that you're doing is pretty important and comic book readings can wait we're gonna load this up later as well right Cheryl good morning good morning hope you're doing well X is the longest serving twitch follower is it X are you the longest serving twitch follower how did you figure that out uh, you must have a little thing I've, I really haven't dug down too much into the twitch uh, stats but X right on <laughs> and health of god thanks for letting us know the fantastic x fantastic thanks for being here by the way appreciate a lot I, it, it does make me happy to say hello x <laughs> void how are you doing just got here did we choose yet we haven't chosen yet we haven't chosen yet mc mike how are we doing good morning everyone good morning good morning felix if i'm being honest grades aren't a priority of mine uh, that's fine it doesn't have to be just make sure you have the buffer to play around right i know i'll get at least a b in the final exam next year but high grades like that aren't necessary for my future awesome then you know where it's at perfect right some people like skimming that pass line right oh i got 55 percent well dude just kick it up a little bit that gives you a buffer right so it's good to know that you know what you're doing felix so that's fantastic mc mike hey chicho i haven't forgot about the math uh notes i want to share where uh in the discord chat can i add those two so check this out mc mike since uh that conversation i created a new channel called math and all i did was create a subcategory subfolder um called intro and i just said it's time that we created a math channel which is basically there's uh one that's the basics which is general and all that jazz one that is heavy topics one that is light topics and now we got a math one let me know if you see it post in the intro and let's talk about it how we're going to break this up if you have notes regarding certain uh classes like calc one calc one calc two and stuff like this write up a description of what calc one and calc two uh what do you call it what it covers and we'll post that up uh we'll create a new folder subfolder in the math math channel and we'll put the notes on there saying this is what the channel this is what calc one is here's the notes that mc mike is sharing regarding calc one calc two or whatever you want and this goes out to anyone right because what i'm going to do i'm going to start creating my notes for the modules that i'm going to be creating for mathematics so it'll be good to think about this uh, before we lay everything out that way we don't have to move things around and whatnot which the odds are we will probably at some point but it'll be good to set it up in a way where uh, we don't have to mess with it for a while if that's cool if you're okay with that okay howdy flash wool fumble how are you doing boy i'm a seven seven year subscriber on youtube right on right on <laughs> <laughs> awesome boy <laughs> elder god i have to go look by watching videos oh by watching videos okay okay uh terpinator 86 how are you doing hey chicho happy to be able to make this stream after missing the last dude work oh damn work damn work terpinator got a little meow going uh your quality will be remembered felix I'm studying politics as well no exams coming up for that uh, for that but today our teacher did a lesson on making our classroom democratic and essentially just left and let people study how they want to uh, I left halfway through and he was actually quite happy that I went against his authority and my uh, assumed subconscious needs to follow orders haha <laughs> yeah 
if, if if a class like that becomes totally democratic then people can vote the teacher out <laughs> they can't argue with it <laughs> right <laughs> well fun gang uh for live streams where we don't have any visuals which we do today we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho is a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream to youtube sensor tube bitchute rumble and odyssey it will go on all four platforms okay so if you're following the work for comic books most of the comic book streams will be going on going on there we might end up reading some risque comics that might not make it onto sensor tube we'll see we'll see those society moment Randolph, Randall Thor 321 hey Chicho hope all is well I want to I want that i49 number four reading ah yes me too I gotta create those as well um, you know what Randall uh, once we do these ones there's so many comic books I got on the go right but once I'm ready to do maybe in the summer we do once I'm ready to give you guys a full-blown introduction to my comic book publishing career the company that I created uh, to publish comic books and I ended up publishing 15 issues uh, four different titles uh, we we did maximum of three titles for three of the four of the three of the titles that we did uh, but total issues I printed 15 issues and uh, once I'm ready to do that maybe this summer we'll start doing readings of all the mermaid comics that I ended up publishing uh, I'm very proud of most of them um, there's one that I'm not uh, fond of because it was a scramble to meet the deadline the anchor dropped out he's squeezing me for funds the writer was I was like man this is crazy uh, but all, almost all of them I'm very proud of the eye for an eye comics I'm extremely proud of the Google Go boy comic I'm extremely proud of lander I'm extremely proud of and um, starry night i'm extremely proud of uh so uh, we will do the readings randall and randall bought a whole bunch of uh uh <laughs> he's got the eye for night comics he loves them oh i love this idea yeah cheryl it, it, uh, i've been meaning to do i just haven't got to it because i have to get into some boxes dig up some notes dig up some letters i got from people i even got a letter from dave sim the creator of cerebus because i was sending out uh, my artists i was paying for it to send them out to the road show he did and like it was pretty cool getting a letter from dave sim saying chicho you're doing fantastic work uh i wish all uh you know publishers treated their artists and creators like this um i'm very proud of my time i spent there cost me a ton of money ton of money but i'm proud of it let me take these guys down gang doop and doop okay which one is considered a failure uh the mortal coil number two mortal coil number two i actually have to do some of the lettering the inking I was like I'm not a inker I'm not an artist but I wanted to meet the deadline that diamond comics that we solicited it for right it was it was a weird period like and then anyway we'll talk about it another time uh, I want this one <laughs> you want this one Felix also an update on the girl I'm uh, talking to thanks to your advice we're still talking but a, a spanner was thrown in the works when I had an in, inebriated encounter with a different girl last weekend. Nothing serious is going on with either of them yet, but I still feel a bit confused. Guess I'll see how it goes. Ooh, ooh, you got a love triangle going, Felix. Exciting, exciting. <laughs> Be careful. Don't break hearts, man. Don't, don't, uh, do anything that's going to make you feel bad and treat others the way you do not want to be treated right so be honest be kind uh to them okay ronnie how are you doing cheryl oh update on the first female writer artist etc well sort of 
uh, update. A few more people are on the case and all excited about the really, yeah, really. I want to know, right? As far as I know, like I, I don't know this, but the comic book that I published in nineteen early nineteen nineties was Starry Night was written, drawn, created by uh, Lori Saltz. So it was a full on all of it female creation of a comic book right and i printed three issues of that series i don't know any other comic book that was 100 percent female created written inked lettered colored everything independent creator I, I looked around i've looked around i couldn't find i asked cheryl cheryl didn't know so she asked a forum and people are looking into it but we don't know we haven't found any answers yet i haven't found any comic books pre this uh that is all female created by by a female uh creator right but for example uh monstrous is female artist uh writer and artist um uh, two of them working together right and i don't know it's rare very rare don't break hearts I needed that advice 30 years ago yeah uh, don't hurt, don't don't be malicious breaking hearts is part of the game you know that elder god I know that if you've lived long enough you know your heart's gonna be broken but uh, don't do it on purpose don't do it through lying uh, if it's you know if someone wants to be with you and you don't want to be with them and they love you and you don't you can't reciprocate their hearts gonna be broken but it's an honest honest uh relationship make sure it's honest right felix absolutely i'm going to keep contact with them as friends but i don't want to be an arsehole and cut one of them off yeah and sometimes it might be necessary if the person can't be with you as a friend they want to be intimate right and you don't and vice versa right gang let's do a poll let's see what we're going to read and just a heads up someone might be coming in today drop in today we might do a side thing regarding comics but we'll see what happens we'll see what happens gang we got two comic books better than killing your wife i guess to want to be with a new girlfriend like chris was is that what he did yikes poll time gang i walk with monsters vault comics 2020 three creators involved with this one of them is paul cornell okay is a british writer uh who has worked on numerous television series and whatnot uh some of the television series he's worked at uh, what has he worked at uh but up but up coronation uh coronation street which is huge in the uk right he's worked on a number of uh tv series and whatnot he's worked on marvel comics comic books and whatnot so he's the writer you got sally cantarino uh from uh new jersey okay that did the artwork for it and paul cornell is uk writer and we have uh Der dear bala uh kelly did the colors for it i believe in the inking for it and she's maybe the inking maybe the colors only and she's based in ireland right so we've got three different countries three different creators working together to put out monstrous okay and the other one here we got impact comics from 1955 late golden age early silver age of comics it's considered to be silver age but 1955 it's also golden age as well right from ec comics and some of the giants of the industry have worked in this al feldstein reed crandall mary severin jack cayman uh, graham ingles um there's one other person jack davis right did the cover for this and the cover is absolutely amazing right uh Coronation Street has gone woke, has it? I never really, wa I've never watched it. I think I watched one episode. I was like, mm, not my thing, right? Uh, Ronnie, did you do oh, yeah, I heard that. I can't be most uh, instant. Impact everyone, <laughs> everyone. Cheryl once I want, I walk with monsters, right? So we're about twenty minutes in, gang. Let's run the poll. Cheryl, do you want to run the poll, or uh, should I do it? Uh, here, let me let me put it like this. 
because the glow from the skylight is hurting it if Cheryl's gonna do it we're gonna do it yeah we live streamed 12 hours ago we ended like 10 hours ago I think at 10 o'clock 10 p.m. last night hi chat everyone das 89 v2 I'm not on my co okay I'm gonna run the poll hold on let me do this hey Chicho and chat Lord of iron how are you doing poll boink come on let's see comic book reading comic book reading uh, we got I walk with monsters I'm just gonna call it monsters I was confused last time when Cheryl said monsters monsters number one and we got impact impact number three okay I'm gonna put the dates on here 1955 and monsters number one I'm gonna put 2020 but it's really I walk with monsters I should put I walk with monsters I'm gonna put on walk I walk with monsters I walk with monsters oh it doesn't do it I walk I walk monsters no oh, okay I walk with I'm gonna forget about the date I walk with this is me being anal about what I'm doing <laughs> I walk <laughs> and I'm gonna take out the date Oh, 1955 so no dates gang I'm gonna run the poll for three minutes just in case there's any uh, stragglers coming in on the last minute three minute poll boing the poll has started place your votes oh my god's push an impact <laughs> and I'll likely have to skip out early regardless oh no Cheryl nervous I'm proposing Friday you're proposing Friday Lord of iron oh my god fingers crossed hope it works hope it works gang let's do the poll let's see what's going on uh, kebab blood chicho man my man how you doing so chicho going for the arm arch mage uh, who secretly has all spells memorized but is showing us a lesson in hum humility <laughs> man, yeah I would be make a bad magician we got four votes a pop look at this we got four votes a pop for a walk with monsters and impact Oh my god, it's pushing impact, 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 you saying. Thanks, man. I know she will, but still nervous. And yeah, you should be nervous. It's an important move, man. Important move. No way we're losing. Oh, what do we got? I walk with monsters is at five. <laughs> famous last words from Elder God. <laughs> or Void says famous last uh, Void says to Elder God, six folks for I walk with monsters. Oh, you'll be great. Lord of Cheryl says five votes for impact. Uh, six votes for I walk with monsters we're about halfway through the vote we're doing a, we're doing the race really slow mo I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this up a little bit so you see the covers right go whoa get broke <laughs> oh my God, says. I'm gonna cast my, my vote if it's a tie right I hope it's not a tie I'm gonna piss people off voting one way or the other I walk with monsters. Come on, Chicho. That is bad as name for sure. That's by the way, gang. Uh, well, if it went, if I walk with monsters, when I'm going to show you all the alternate covers we got, we picked them up from, from a recent comic book haul, right? So we got six votes for I walk with monsters, five votes for impact, right? How do I vote? Uh, if you if you press the little top button, there is comic book reading. There's a little arrow. Press that, and you're going to see the two listings. You highlight one. And then you press vote okay anti-socialist behavior do you know gang we're down to like 30 seconds <laughs> oh my god we're six votes a pop no we can't have a tie gang we can't have a tie we can't do two readings oh impact goes up to seven look at this look at this i voted just to just to tie it up <laughs> you anarchy anti-socialist behavior <laughs> we got seven votes we're down to like 15 seconds seven votes for impact six votes for i walk with monsters check this out yo yes void says we're down to about 10 seconds gang 10 seconds seven votes for impact six votes for i walk with monsters it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be it oh <laughs> what the hell? 
who voted at the last second to tie it up bad 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 we got seven votes a pop man i vote twice for impact if i could come on monster monster <laughs> damn it <laughs> where's my dice i'm gonna get dice gang we're gonna roll dice to see which one we're gonna roll dice or right, where's a coin uh, next time i'm gonna bring a coin next time i'm gonna bring a coin let's check this out okay i'm gonna go get dice i'll be right back uh so do we have a runoff <laughs> runoff against two age before woke well is is it gonna be woke i don't know i don't think it is woke let's check this out let's check this out Let's do this. Let's do this. I didn't vote. I didn't vote. I didn't vote. I, I, I was gonna. I, I'm gonna. I was gonna keep my hands clear of this one. Chicho, your vote has the greatest impact. Don't this. I didn't vote. I'm not gonna vote on this one. No way. <laughs> We're gonna roll the dice. <laughs> Get up below, Chicho. I have a grand admiral thon. Nice quote for you from the novel itself quote a friend need not be kept either within sight or within reach a friend must be allowed the freedom to find and follow his own path if one is fortunate those paths will for a time join but if the paths separate it is comforting to know that a friend still graces the universe with his skills and his uh, viewpoint and his presence for if one is remembered by a friend one is never truly gone very nice i like that quote excellent excellent envious how you doing oh no i'm too late <laughs> oh you're too late you had a tie seven seven you guys definitely tried to go for a fifth i swear they did they did they want probability or i mean come on dice come on dice let's do it let's do it okay game we're gonna roll the dice for the roll prime number equals impact okay done deal we got a dice prime number equals impact and even number prime number has hold on prime number well one is one is not a prime number so two three and five are prime okay done deal so if it's two three or five we do an impact if it's one four or six we're doing i walk with monsters i'm okay with the prime number one uh, i walk with monsters. chicho no dice no <laughs> magic spells on the table has magnets even a rod. i think i i like the prime number one from anti-socialist behavior anti-socialist behavior you're the one you tied the thing up didn't you two three five two three five impact it's a landing on four i'm sad <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold the pressure from I'm rolling it gang I'm rolling it ready ready oh my god oh, it's a four <laughs> and it goes to I walk with monsters who said four void was it you wait a second who said four someone said four <laughs> it's left void said it void you're it man you got magic you got you got magic going on <laughs> right Mala. i told you <laughs> elder god you gotta go after void void is the one that did it man void set for conclusion <laughs> collusion collusion <laughs> yeah Kim up a lot 23 is like yay monsters I said monsters void thank you and the kicker is void voted for impact right the void can you tell me the next lottery number <laughs> I'm laughing my ass off <laughs> who said who said domain voting service voting service domain voting service <laughs> you betrayed me all the god said check this out check this out okay gang <laughs> hilarious i gotta stop laughing just laughing too hard laughing too hard 
check this out here are all the alternate covers for number one right nice 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 cool we'll take a look at all the alternate covers too right our skylight is right above us so it gives it the the shine of the thing right these covers are they're beautiful covers they're beautiful covers and we got them super cheap we got them super cheap super cheap okay gang i'm going to turn off notifications okay uh before we do though don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube okay sweet alternate covers that purple was sweet yeah i'm going to show you guys they're really good i like it see you on the flip side chicho see you on the flip side cheryl <laughs> let's turn these off i'm gonna turn off notifications so boing i'm gonna turn off chat we'll be back after the reading gang and i'm gonna turn off my this camera right here right da, 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 da. Boing, and boing. <coughs> Hi everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading and uh, just so you know we're live streaming this as well and we had a little poll action going on it was a choice between this one and one other comic which is impact comics uh from 1955 uh, impact comics number three from 1955 and i walk with monsters uh one uh roll of the die because it was a thai uh poll that we ran uh, it was 50 50 split so i walk with monsters one on this reading and we're going to read impact from 1955 in the next reading but for now i walk with monsters from vault comics from this company right here and if you're reading comic books if you're a comic book aficionado if you love comic books you should be checking out what vault comics is putting out they're putting out some amazing books amazing stories independent comic books independent creators putting their heart and soul into these things uh highly recommend it there are a lot of a lot of amazing independent publishers out there right now and they're worth checking out as for i walk with monsters this comic this is number one it's the debut edition of i walk with monsters it came out in november 2020 okay the writer for this is paul cornell he's a uk writer and he's done a lot of work for tv and he's done some work for comic books as well for marvel comics for dc comics he's worked on coronation street on uh Cor coronation street which is a very long running tv series in the uk robin hood uh, primal casualty hobby city so he's worked on a lot of different uh, tv series especially in the uk the artist for this is sally cantarino and she's based in new york okay and the other person that worked on this is i'm brutalizing the names by the way here uh dear dear bala kelly and she's from ireland and i believe she did the inking for this right so we have cornell here the writer cantarino is the artist for this kelly i believe is the colorist for this and and world i believe that the lettering for this right and i don't know where uh and world is uh is based i'm assuming uh they're in or male or female they're in the united states and we ended up picking up this comic book on the cheap with all the variant covers to issue number one in a previous comic book haul right so let's take a look at the alternate covers we're going to read this one this is the main cover okay and this is believe cover b which is also beautiful love the coloring on this okay beautiful now all these are in sort of mylar back so i'm not going to take out all of them um, she says i voted <laughs> right did you vote 
Here is cover C, I believe. Okay. Beautiful color again. And this is a horror based uh, comic from Vault Comics. Very nice. I'm putting on an angle because our skylight and the camera is good for lighting for reading the comics, but you get a serious glare off the mylar, right? This cover, I believe, was the one in uh, 25 or one in 10, which is a beautiful color as well. very nice very beautiful coloring I love the coloring of this this one is a foil cover and I believe it's the same cover as this like all these three are the same let me show them to you hard to see because all the reflections right all three of these are the same but this one I believe it was one in ten or one in twenty-five. This one was the one foil cover, so it's got a more of a glare to it, right? And this was either one in ten or one twenty-five, right? And or this could have been the special that was sent out one per comic book store. And this is the Virgin cover, right? And the Virgin cover is beautiful because you see the. The whole artwork without any of the text in there even though i love the text on comics i don't collect too many virgin covers but it's beautiful okay and we ended up getting this for you know it was around mid 20s or 20 dollars 20 dollars plus off an auction comic book haul uh, i forget which comic book haul it was but uh, when we upload this video on the platforms that we're going to share this in this video on this live stream on I'll uh, provide the link in the description if I remember uh, to do that okay so let's crack this open and have a read through I walk with monsters from 2020 and I guess the nightfall uh, they're calling it is the horror horror titles they're putting out and these were in mint condition one of the comics I think the one in 25 had a ding on it uh, but aside from that um, it was fantastic there's a ding here like a all right you can see it if you run your finger through it as well but it's a it's a really good shape right so that ding probably brings it down to like a 9.2 i doubt it 9.2 let's call it but everything else on it looks fantastic yeah take a look I would even say 9.4 but the ding might knock it off if there's any other flaws in this we'll kick it down to 9.2 but just with that little ding I would say 9.4 the edges are crazy sharp right? So the only flaw that we see is right there that guy right there yeah. from the main cover or the front cover and the back there's no no creases no dings right camera has a hard time focusing on a black and white but we try we try
<laughs> really crisp. Right? I walk with monsters. <clears throat> what is that drawing? Oh, it's footprints. Take a look. Or shoe prints. That's a nice uh, design. Look at the wolf, monster, bird. What else do we got here? Those are the boot prints, right? Whole bunch of animals and there's little dragons and creatures there. That's super cool. And Cornell, Canterino, Kelly, and Andwood, right? Let's read this. In JC's past is the important man who took away her brother. Now J JC has David, who sometimes transforms into a terrifying beast. Together they found a way to live and to hunt, sniffing out men who prey on the vulnerable. But JC and David are about to run into the important man again. A haunting story about the monsters that walk beside us all and sometimes lurk within. Cool. Beautiful artwork. Check this out. Beautiful design. So Vault Comics presents artist Sally Cantarino, writer Paul Cornell, letterer Anwood Design. So Anwood Design is, uh, I would assume, is a company, right? It'd be weird if it's uh, the person's name, right? And what design is a company and colorist is dear 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 la kelly okay i'm assuming that's a serious uh, uh irish name what does this say let's see if the red text will show up oh it's trying it's trying there it is publisher damien a wassell Editor-in-Chief, Adrian F. Wassel, Wassel. Art Director, Nathan C. Gooden. EVP Branding and Design, Tim Daniel. Managing Editor, Rebecca Taylor. Director of Marketing, David Desanayake. Desanayak. Wow, what kind of a name is that? Production Manager, Ian Balserani, Principal Damien A. Vassal Sr. Cool names here, actually. Let's see if we can do black and white or white on black text. It's going to have a hard time reading this. Let's check this out. I Walk with Monsters number one, November 2020. Copyright. 2020 par paul cornell and sally cantarino all rights reserved i walk with monsters uh the i walk with monsters whoop, logo and the likeliness of all characters herein are trademarks of paul cornell and sally uh cantarino unless otherwise noted vault and the vault logo are trademark Trademarks of Creative Mind Energy, LLC. No part of this work may be re reproduced, transmitted, stored, or used in any form or by any means, graphic, electronic, or uh, mechanical. Doop. Mechanical. Doop. What does that say? including but not limited to photocopying recording scanning digitizing taping web distribution oh my god web distribution information networks or uh or information storage and retrieving uh re retrieval systems 
except as printed under section 107 or 108 of the 1976 United States Copyright Act without the prior written permission of the publisher all names characters events and locales in this publication are entirely fictional any resemblance to actual persons living or dead uh, living or dead or monster events institutions or places without satirical intent is coincidental printed in the usa for information about foreign or multimedia rights contact these people we are rights at vaultcomics.com well i hope i hope they appreciate us promoting this work uh promoting their work vault comics did it say no recording alex playing break, breaking the law judas priest so this is hopefully they appreciate it and maybe when we get the video up we'll send them a little email saying look we've done comic book readings for last i don't know how many years now and decided to read your comic to expose people to vault comics and independent publishers I've only had one comic book where we did the reading for and the creators and it was an independent of all things it was an independent publisher that we were promoting their work raving about it in the comic book in the video and they contacted me and they said no they didn't appreciate what we did and we took it down and I had people asking me about that comic after the fact because they really liked it and I told them that's what the publisher the creators of that comic did and they were pretty pissed off at them for doing that and they decided not to buy their comics uh, because they didn't appreciate the remix really independent creators sharing independent creators works okay so i hope you guys like i'm a huge fan of vault comics this company right here i buy a lot of their comic books and it's a pleasure to share one of their creations one of their published works Whoop. let's see if it's going to focus on their logo oh let's check it out it's not focusing there we go maybe maybe not but we've seen it let's read i walk with monsters by cornell cantarino kelly and the lettering done by and world design glossy reflection this is the best part she says she's all tied up I might have to stay a little bit further away for this because the paper is so glossy who's this guy can we read the name no, we can't read the name. He scratched out the face. He's got the the stethoscope where I don't know what's it called? The stethoscope where they listen to a person's heartbeat. And from the looks of it, he's got some torture equipment here, which isn't a good sign, right? Which isn't a good sign. Splash base starts off with a bang. <clears throat> wow, hard time focusing on it. There we go. Look at this little girl. You're pristine. I'm going to enjoy. This is your second time. Am I right? she asks look at this guy pristine like that's a word you use you read that somewhere and you used it last time your first time with that six-year-old 
Annabeth Taylor, and it felt great. You read that word and thought, every time I do this, I will say pristine. It sounds classy, she said. Don't you fucking talk back to me. I am your death. I'm gonna slice you up. Yeah, she says. Somebody hurt you. Sometimes you sort of want to talk about that. She's very cool and calm and collective in this eh? Jet showed me in the books no other way that was love that was loving you weak that's your problem boy you can't keep me talking that's what you're thinking I always want to hear the excuses. I don't like it when your sword won't tell me, she says. No, no, not this now. This is loving. Too press, too good for you. Too press, he was gonna say pristine. Ha <laughs> ha. noise comes from the outside this what is oh, it's grabbing a hammer. yes she says haha <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yes, this is the best part, she says. Look at a look on her face. Oof. No, please, please. Ah, uh, she's like, Argh. I think he just had his head bitten off. Fucking eat him, she says. turning more red and red thank you for not getting blood on me she says it's done Look at that. 
the guy's a hand and a hammer. Whoa. Just torn apart. Don't look, JC. You always say that, she replies. Clothes clean up and rope cutters in the bag. say it out here flies he doesn't look very happy with what he did she's cold as ice beautiful coloring Any blood still on you? She asks. No, JC. There's no blood still on me. Did you wipe the contact points? He says. Yes, David. I wiped the contact points. Okay, then. How are you doing? He asks. Oh, he looks over. Look at that. He's got no reply. She's devastated. There you go. It's okay. Let it out. Oh wow, that's a great facial expression. I fucking hate when it's a farm. She says. Subtle expressions, but beautifully done. going back or memory feeding the chickens JC, Jake, someone's calling. Kids, this is Eric. He'll be helping out on the farm for a few days. 
in return for bed and board the guy says they're really small they're like way preteen preteen even oh something's off here why are they looking so distraught Is he going to be in my room? The boy asks. Jake asks. Right, that's his name. She's got her eyes closed. What's going on? Uh, kids. The guy says. Oh, this is creepy. Jake, he's looking at the, I don't want to say father figure, we're not 100% sure if it's the father. This kid's helping him out, doing some chores around the barn. Oh wow, look at that, he's shooting up. He's a drug addict. Look at that. JC sees it. She doesn't look happy. It's near time for you to move on, Eric, the old man says. Look at him, he's not happy with uh, Eric. I thought I was doing good work on the farm, and you know. The boy says. But he ends it there. What's going on? And they're having dinner again, but at a later time. Hush, Jake. Eat your dinner. Eric is in a better place now. Oh, my God. The old man's the guy killed Eric. Wow, wow, wow. Look at uh, JC, her expression. Just quiet. Look at Jake. Feels like a creepy, creepy story. Look at this. Jake and JC just touching fingers. They need to ground. Right. Oh, they spilt the gravy. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not going to be happy about that. Uh oh, ah. Uh. Oh dear, the old guy says. Click, the gravy spill. Look at a horror in her eyes. They 
this might not work out well. Oh, shoot. You got decisions to make, JC, he says. Best behavior will count for something, but you're getting of an age to help me, same as Jake does. Oh, shoot. That I hope it doesn't mean what I think it means. What? You're next on the menu. What? What? Yeah, I think I found our next stop, she says. They're back in the present time now. Let's get the text and focus. Yeah, I think I found our next stop, she says. So they're back in the present what it's okay back to sleep she says and what did she find news local missing local girl missing search in progress last update september 26 2018 an amber alert has been issued for sammy baker a 10 year old girl from Eltsville, Illinois, or in in the app in the Apples. She was last seen at Campbell's Park on Friday, September 21st, with several friends, but failed to return home that evening. Her mother, Samira Baker, issued the statement at a press conference today. What's the shirt say? Girl power. Wow, look at that. She's jotting down notes. September 26, 2018. So I was thinking maybe we could take a break you know go somewhere he says you can i'm going to keep doing this she says you can and then you try to do this anyway right on your own she said he says i got no choice I thought you didn't either. Hey, here we go. She's waving down a car. Father daughter road trip bonding. Well rehearsed, charming details. Uh -huh. That's the text on top of what they're talking about. She's, she's, they've done this many times before, right? I never pick up hitchhikers, but you two, a dad and daughter, didn't seem so dangerous. We get that a lot, she says. I mean, that'd be a great scam. I'm sure you're the real thing, but... You can see the resemblance, right? She smiles. I can. You picked a good time to trek to our wonderful town, the lady says. Look at her smile.
it's the state fair the lady says and that sends her into a memory lapse again from the looks of it right? her memories again i wonder what she's seeing what the past brings yeah this is a fair right we've gone into the past again state fair happy occasion car just drives up and it's her she's in the back seat and there's the old guy in the car driving right best behavior he says we're meeting an important man today he says and the kids are in the back They're scared. They are scared. Look at that. Look at that. Wow, he's got candy cane. Look at that. She's very cautious. going on here private not an entrance the sign says he's pushing the boy towards the entrance oh this isn't going to be good he's expecting you just through here i'll uh give you the room the guy says I'm extremely pleased to see you. So this is the young man, eh? Oh no. Look at JC in the background. And the kid. They're terrified. Let me get a closer look. The person says. silhouette is of the two guys two gentlemen what are they doing oh wow this is the memory lapse look at this this has got to be a politician it's got to be hello Jake I'm something man. What does that say? Vote. Oh, look at this. He's got to be a politician. Look at the American flags. He's got the vote button going on. This is giving me the creeps. This is giving me the creeps. check this out i'm gonna do a little interruption here but check out this cover right that's why she's got a i voted sign there right there on one of the covers right cover b or cover c this one is wow 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 where's jake oh they left them there crap crap Crap. Jake will stay here with the important man. Oh no. Shit. Oh no.
you won't be seeing your brother again look at the smile on the guy's face the grin on oh my god he's going to a better place he says oh shit One day we'll find the important man. She says, yeah. The guy replies, we're back in the present. I wish I could remember his name. I so nearly can, she says. Yeah, he replies. But I'll never forget his face. there he is vote for something man whoa continued what a heavy comic book to start the day whoa whoa I walk with monsters is right That's an advertisement for a new series. The plot. I had picked up the first few issues of this as well. <sighs> Next issue. Four lights, four dots. What a heavy book. What a heavy book. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's look at the cover. Let's put this back in the Mylar bag and look at the other covers again. Now that we've read the first issue. And, uh, See what the foreshadowing or the design of these things is, right? Here's issue one of the alternate covers for number one. I voted. Right. It's got goats on there. Animals, the monster. Now sacrificing. Uh, this symbol is used a lot in cultists, cult or cults. Wow, wow, wow. foil cover and the virgin cover fantastic read really fantastic read minimal text minimal text with the the flow of the art and the drawings and the panels so so creepy yeah so creepy so creepy which this kind of story is wow 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 i walk with monsters highly recommend gang highly recommend vault comics they don't hold back they don't hold back right uh, fantastic uh, I'll have to pick up the rest. I picked up, I think, the first three issues or so, but I'll have to pick up the full story to read this. 
Whew. Whew. Hard, hard, hard. Aside from that, uh, I hope you enjoyed the reading. What I'm going to do is uh, go back to the live stream, to the, uh, to the chat, and see what the feedback is regarding this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And we'll be back on the live stream. Oof. Dork, dork, dork. The virgin cover reminds me of the monsters from uh, Castlevania and Netflix. Is haha, cool, cool, cool. Child trafficking, brother is definitely not dead. I got a feeling not either. Possibly, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. But this is. This is very much great read, Randall. Yeah, Ooh. <laughs> like so heavy, and this is very related to present-day politics with Epstein and Jelaine Maxwell, and obviously the DNC and stuff like this. I'm still frozen. Great read, Ralph. Uh, Ralph, yeah, really, the way the panels moved the artwork the coloring the facial her facial expression just cold 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 just very tactical about it and it it definitely has an impact it definitely had an impact minimalist text right not too much dialogue there was like at least four pages five pages where it was no, like no dialogue right when they're sitting around the dinner table whoa creepy creepy i hate to say this but never kill what you can uh what you can sell never kill what you can sell oh god sacalito the artist on that book is brilliant she's really dang good she's really damn good just capturing the emotion of it was phenomenal and the coloring too and the writing minimalist writing right no no huge dialogue and whatnot and every word you're you're holding on to right the artwork was was done by um sally cantrino sally cantrino okay and i've I have her little write up here. Let me read you the little write up that I copied. I forget where I copied this from. Uh, it might be for her from her own website, right? Uh, and this is quote: uh, Sally Can Cantrino grew up in New Jersey and started making comics as a teenager. After discovering Love and Rockets, <laughs> Love and Rockets is an amazing independent series, right? Love and Rockets and lots of vertical stuff at the local library. Awesome, awesome right she began self-publishing zines and comics in high school and is an alumni of the pre-college program at the school of visual arts in new york city and the sequential artist workshop in gainesville florida her comics comics work include last song with black mass studios and black mass studios is another independent publishing company which is absolutely fantastic puts out great work uh, we have to go back and several other short stories and has contributed to anthologies such as dead beats everything is going wrong and you died she has also collaborated with world champ game con on the games protest singer and cobwebs and has done artwork for bands like uh la dispute and murder by death fantastic very cool very cool she's top-notch really uh, let me let me uh, read to the write-up what Paul Cornell the writer states regarding this comic book right and quote and I forget where I grabbed this from from quote this is a hugely important project for me both in terms of how personal it is and how much of a comeback to comics it is it's the story of a young woman and her friend who can who can be a monster going hunting i think it's my best work in the medium my attempt to create horror that comes from a real place with lots of heart and character to see the pages come alive with such glorious artwork has been an absolute joy 
uh, oh and you can uh, listen to Sally's Spotify playlist of tracks she played while working on this title oh yeah this is something I found as well the the artist Sally Cantrino put together a playlist right of music she was listening to while she was doing the artwork for this right so wow 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 and let me read you the write-up for the colorist for this uh, dear blah Kelly uh, designer illustrator comic book maker based in Dublin I do graphic and this is from her website right I do graphic designs with a heavy dose of illustration and an increasing number of comic book pro uh, projects. I also dabble in motion graphics, occasionally take on more freelance work than is wise, and doodle TV characters while watching Netflix. I work for the Irish Times per media developments from 2012 to 2015, doing a mix of editorial and commercial work. I've also worked on branding and promote promotion for Spirit of Folk and elec el uh, el Electric Irish Folk and Music Festival since its inception five years ago. I graduated from NCAD with an honors degree in visual communication in 2011. Okay, those are the creators of this comic book. Wow, right? elder god quote this is a world you will never understand and you always fear what uh, what you doing what you're doing understanding don't understand yeah fantastic read gang i need to go for a walk like holy camoles especially considering our present day situation in the world and some of the some of the facts that have come to light right uh, aside from that gang thank you for being here thank you for being here uh me too Raf <laughs> says yeah man like heavy 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 incredible gang if you want to know what my work is about which is sharing some of the gems some of the amazing things that we find in life including mathematics comic books cooking food uh, music and whatnot I am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho incredible stream as always yeah really this is uh heavy heavy D yeah elder God uh, just reading his write-up uh, Paul Cornell uh, and it's not fiction for many people right that's why it's so heavy right this isn't fantasy this is reality hitting you to the, by the side of the head with a two by four like heavy right for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you for the support we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in these live stream twitch is where you want to be at I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Minds, VK, Gap, and Parlor. And we do have a Discord page where you can share information, talk about the live streams, and share news, your art, whatever you want. Participate in open, free discussion. Okay, bring your thick skin. For live streams where we don't have any visuals, we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast, and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and we will be uploading this live stream this amazing amazing comic book reading on sensor tube on bit on rumble and on odyssey and more power to independent publishers okay gang this comic is not fiction i read it whilst you read it the review the review uh, i give it a 10 out of 10. okay and gang I'm gonna be uploading segments of live streams we've done for next week or so from what we did in the previous week so expect the next announcement for live streams to come we're in Wednesday right now maybe towards uh, uh, mid next week 
I'll try to announce set my next schedule where we'll be doing more live streams and we'll see what we're gonna end up doing um, there will definitely be a comic book reading in there okay aside from that thank you for being here gang and mods thank you for taking care of business and Cheryl I know you have to go away you're reading this comic book Wow okay bye everyone I hope you have a fantastic next few days